took your time answering. Uh, this is Mr. Duncan Farrell, the late master's cousin. Where is the body? Upstairs, first door. Leek. Leek. Your name's Leek, isn't it? This is for you. I picked it up at the door. See here, Leek. If I were you, I wouldn't try and get another balloting job. Uh, I beg your pardon? You may have suited Priam Farrell. Arthur's a strange. But I don't believe you'd suit an ordinary employer. Thank you. Do you recognize your cousin? I haven't seen him since he was 12 years old. But I think I may safely say I should have recognized him anywhere. I shall treasure this as a memento. His shroud, as it were. Well, I'll be going. arrangements have you made? None. I've been asleep. You're not very respectful. Okay, now, that dressing gown belongs to me. Oh, so you're starting to claim things, are you? We'll soon put an end to that. Pigsty. Now, what you're doing is a painting things. Oh, so you're a painter too, are you? Now, see here, Leek. I fancy you and I had better come to an understanding at once. What salary did my cousin pay you? A hundred pounds a year. When were you last paid? Uh, let's see, I, um... Well? I... Oh, the day before yesterday. Here's eight pounds in lieu of notice. Yes, but listen, Take I... Take it. But I want to tell you... Take it. I... Now pack up and get out of this house as soon as you can. But I'm not... I shall I'm... not argue. Are his papers here? Yes. Where's the key? There's something I want to tell you. No doubt. No doubt. Ah. Here's his will. Oh, is that still there? I thought it had been destroyed. Do you know what it says? Everything is left to England for the establishment of a new gallery. And you get five pounds for your trouble as executor. Yes, I see. Well, he probably thought I should be annoyed. He did. Well, my man, the idea of a great public institute bearing my family name is not unpleasant to me. But he meant it as a joke. I don't see why you complain. You come into 80 pounds a year under it. <laughs> yes, I was forgetting about that. I never saw such a disrespectful servant in my life. Now, get your things together and go. Yes, sir. Whose luggage is that? Mine. Yours, indeed. Are your initials P.F.? Oh. Have you a latch key? You have all the keys. I'll notify you about the funeral. Where will you be stopping? Grand Babylon Hotel. The man's mad.
Mr. Leak? Well, I suppose you are Mr. Leak, aren't you? Oh, oh, oh I am. Yeah. Oh. I really didn't expect you. Mr. Farrell being dead, I knew you'd be upset like. How did you know he was dead? How did I know? Why, it's been placarded all over London since early morning. Didn't you see? No. That shows how you must have been thinking. I was about to give you up. Really? Well, it's nearly two o'clock. Huh? Oh, yes. Excuse me. Uh, will you take those bags upstairs? Should we sit here? Nicer in the back. <laughs> Was Mr. Farrell a good master? Oh, very. Yes. Well, won't you sit down? Thank you. But I see you're not in mourning. No, that is, I... I don't hold with mourning myself. If you can't show respect without a pair of black gloves that the dye's always coming off of, it's grumbling against Providence, too. Not but what I don't think there's a good deal too much talk about Providence. Oh, I quite agree with you, yes. I suppose you'll have to be going back soon to arrange things like... Oh, no. No, I've been dismissed. I hope you made them pay you your money. Oh. Who dismissed you? M Mr. Duncan Farrell. He's a fool. Why? Wouldn't let me keep my dressing gown. Thought I was trying to steal it. That kind. It, and it was a beautiful dressing gown, really. Yes, and then uh, there was something very important I wanted to tell him, and he, he wouldn't let me. But how could he stop you? Cut me off like, like that. Perhaps you really didn't want to tell him. You could write him, you know. No, no, I won't write him. Then you didn't want to tell him. Perhaps you're right. And if I were you, I should think no more about it. You're a great comfort, Mrs. Uh, Mrs. Alice is all right. Uh, Alice, yes, yes. And you've no occasion to be shy with me. There's no call for it. I'm just as you see me. Shy? Oh, I don't feel shy with you. That's all right, then. Because I should take it as a poor compliment being shy with me. You know, uh, I think a matrimonial agency is a very good and useful, don't you? Well, uh, yes, I suppose, yes. Because if you are thinking of getting married, well, what are you to do? You could sit in a chair and wait till eggs are six months a dozen and you'd be no nearer. No. If you want to get married, you want to get married. There's no use pretending you don't. I do hate pretending. And if you ask me, matrimonial agencies are the most useful things ever invented. Next to dress shields. <laughs> Alice, you're priceless. Look, will you have lunch with me? Oh, if you have time. I, I have so much time. If anything comes of this, I shall pay the fee to the agencies with the greatest of pleasure. <laughs> so that was the end of it. <laughs> well, I think it would be. <laughs> you are like your photograph. Like my photograph? I knew you at once. May I see it? Oh. Thank you. I love it. The one on the right is me. If it isn't rude to ask, Mr. Leake, why did you always typewrite your letters? It seems so public. You see, I write so badly. Poor Mr. Fowl. What good did it do him to be so celebrated? Always trying to hide as if the police were after him. After all, he had the pleasure of being successful in the work he liked best to do. Well, but couldn't he have had that without chasing all over Europe? He might just as well have been a commercial traveler. This <laughs> <laughs> you're wonderful. <laughs> you can laugh, Mr. Big. <laughs> but believe me, there's nothing like a comfortable home and a quiet life. And the less you're in the newspapers, the better. All right. Nothing like it, indeed. I can't imagine a person being afraid of anyone. When I'm with you, I can't imagine it either. When I was with him, I understood it, though. Poor man. He doesn't need to be afraid of anyone now. Extra prime Sorrow Day! Extra But you haven't told me whether you were ever married. No, never. You've always lived alone like that. No home, traveling, and no one to look after you properly. Oh, one gets accustomed to it. I suppose so. But I feel sorry for you all these years. A country garden. A country garden? That's what they're playing. Lovely, isn't it? Have you a garden, Alice? Yes, with a wall around. Was it only today we met? Magic day. 
And now I must be going. Oh, please don't. Oh, but it's late now. I must be getting back to Sutton. I'll see you home. Oh, no, you poor dear. You're too tired. But we could walk to the queue. Is it far? Not very. Oh, too bad. I wish we could take the music with us. <laughs> we can. Well, that was rather wonderful. M, I mean. You're well, sir. Thank you. You're Mr. Leake, I presume. What of it? I'm Horning of the Courier. I'm no, Garvin I... of the Mercury. Well, you've no right to intrude yourself in here. My paper's prepared to offer you a hundred pounds for your story on Parallel's eccentric life on the continent. Eccentric life on the... Well, I'll be... I'll write the article. All you have to do is sign it. You'll make it a hundred and twenty-five pounds. To sign an order for the fellow's execution? A hundred and fifty. Or burning at the stake. Uh, can you tell me if Mr. Farrell had any notion that he'd be buried in the Abbey. Buried in the Abbey? Why, it's preposterous. Why preposterous? Why bury that fellow in the Abbey? England's sacred shrine, where only the great are buried? It's absurd. Absurd? Do you know about his will? He left everything to found the Gallery of Modern Art in London. Oh, so that's it. He's to be buried in the Abbey because he's a philanthropist, not because he's an artist. Oh, that's England all over. Yes, well, I won't have it. You'll not. No. <laughs> Tell you something else. Farrell is not dead. Not dead. Oh, what next? I am Brian Farrell. Oh, <laughs> oh <laughs> get out. Is he mad? He must be. Nothing but a valet. He takes a suite in the most expensive hotel in London. Then he refuses 150 pounds. And now, bless me, if he doesn't think he's Brian Farrell. <laughs> get out. <laughs> he's been on me, if you ask me. Brian Farrell, is he? <laughs> must be stopped. Must be stopped.